Yo, what is up? My name is Sven and today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the building 4.0 update. I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about what's new in the building terms of Rust for the June 2020 update. Now the update will also feature a lot of other stuff including the Rust Plus app. Although we're not going to be talking about that in this video. In this video, we're purely going to be focused on what's changed in the building 4.0 update, what's new and what you should know about the new building way in Rust. For more detailed information about the update, I would recommend to check the news when the Rust update hits. All right, so first things first, can we still build the classic normal 2x2? Yes, we can. Rust has changed the way particular building blocks look. Now, the most drastic change here is to metal. Overall, next to that, the only thing they really changed to the other building mats is the way the corners are shaped. Here's an overview of how these changes look. Oh yeah, and twig hasn't changed, so we're leaving that one out. Just a quick side note here, the corners aren't just visually changed, they're also physically changed. Meaning that you're not going to be able to put any deployable items clipped into the corners, as you can see here on the video. After this update, you will see a bunch of new building blocks on your building plan. You'll see that foundation steps have been changed with steps. Foundation steps are no longer in the game. You'll see there's a new building block called a ramp. You'll see there's a new building block called a triangle frame. And you'll see two new spiral steps. One for squares and one for triangles. Now here's an impression of what the new building blocks look like and in all the materials. As you'll notice is that foundation steps are completely changed and the old ones are completely gone. I personally really liked the old ones and I used them for for example external TCs and I'm really sad to see them leave the building block scene. There isn't much else to know about the steps other than that most people consider them as totally ruined. You could consider the new ramps as the new foundation steps because they kind of are the same. Although unfortunately this is not the case. You can only build ramps connecting with each other and you can't reverse them. Also ramps can only be attached to foundations. Another very important thing to notice is that you can only place connecting walls to the ramp from the outside. You cannot do it from standing up on the inside on the ramp. Triangle floor frames are amazing and actually do exactly as what they say. Rust has added two new building items including the triangular floor frame and the triangular ladder hatch. For both of these items when learning one, you'll be able to craft the other shape as well. Now there isn't much to know about these items, they basically just do as they say they do. One thing I do like to mention here is that furnace bases are going into an entire new era. As you'll no longer be forced to use square floor frames with square floor grills. If you're looking to build cool or very cheap furnace bases, I would recommend to check out Vice's video. Now let's talk about spiral stairs, the new stairs in Rust. One thing you'll immediately notice is that the stairs on top have a kind of like fence. This is because the stairs are conditional. This means that when the spiral stair is extended with another spiral stair on top, that conditional part will be removed and the stair will be extended. Now the same here goes for connecting a spiral stair to a floor. Here's some examples. Now other than the fact that it's kind of weird and we have to get used to these spiral stairs, they actually do almost completely ignore the deployables hitbox. This means that you can still place the stairs through, for example, a large box. Now the best example I can give you here is the recent video from my gaming experience, where he uses the new spiral stairs to make an unlootable loot room. Shout out to him and I'll link that video in the description as well. Last but not least, you should note that normal roofs aren't roofs anymore. They don't act the same way anymore as they used to. Normally roofs would be able to clip through pretty much anything and Rust has completely disabled that. This means that the classic normal roof bunker is not longer possible to do. This is actually a very important change to remember as a lot of solo and duo base designs feature this type of bunker. Another thing here for those that wonder, the multi-TC roof bunker where you use a roof to open the wall is still working. They haven't changed that 
Normal classical bunkers still work the way they should be. Nothing has changed here. Now, as far as that goes, that's basically everything you need to know in terms of building for the upcoming June 2020 Rust patch. Now, of course, in the near future, stuff in this video might actually get changed in the game. And so I would always keep an eye out for the latest Rust updates yourself. With that said, I would really, really recommend that anyone that's building a base from YouTube, especially after this update, to go on a build server first just to verify that the base you want to build still being able to be built in the current Rust. As far as it goes for my base designs, everything should still be possible the exact way as I explained it in the videos. Now that was it for this one. If you enjoy these shorter videos about updates in Rust, please let me know in the comments. I'm also very curious to know what you think about these new building updates in Rust. Do you like them? Do you not? And why not? Please let me know as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.